Okay. Well, I really don't like baloney. That's Christians' problems right there. They, they say, well, I, I really don't like baloney. Well, why didn't you say that in the first place? God, I'd like a ham and cheese on toast right down here, split in half, and that's exactly what God's going to give you. Amen. Amen. We, we need to get specific with God. We need to get real with God. Amen. I want to tell God exactly how I want it. Amen. If something happens in my life, I'm going to get in touch with God, and I'm not going to say, God, well, whatever you want to happen, God, just let that happen. No, absolutely not. God, I want it to be this way in my life. God, I need it to be this way in my life. God, I need these things. I want these things, God. If those are the things that I can have, God, give them to me. I want them. I want the things of God. Because I can tell you right now, the things of God, if you'll receive them into your life, you don't have to worry about, well, I don't know if that's going to be a blessing. They're going to be a blessing to you, amen? I promise you, you're not going to have to waver one way or the other, being wishy-washy, thinking, well, I don't know. If it's from God, it's a good thing, amen? If it's, a God, it's, if it's from God, it's a good thing, amen? That somebody said that about a uh, Christian, you know, being pregnant, and they're like, well, you just hope it's healthy. I said, well, if it's not, I'm not just going to give it back. <laughs> I mean, let's ask ourselves that question. Well, God, that's not the one I wanted. You take it back. No, absolutely not. I'm going to love it exactly. I'm going to love it for who it is. And what, if, if that's what God intends for me to have, that's what I'm going to have. Uh, because I know that that's going to be, that, that's from God, and it's going to be super. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be something that I could never even fathom. Amen. Living my life without. Yeah, I don't know what it, what's going to have, what it's going to be, nothing like that. But I know it's going to be good because it's from him. Amen. Uh, you know, you read them books about how big, man, that just blows my mind how babies are just, just, she comes up and she's like, oh, well, the brain's being formed today. And I'm like, how's that happen? It just automatically just starts doing it. Well, we'll go today and we'll hear the heartbeat. How? I mean, it's just, you know, we, we seen pictures. We went and seen Natalie. We seen pictures of a baby that had been born in February uh, the 16th of 2006. I can still remember the day because it blew my mind. And the, the feet on that baby were literally that long. I stuck, I have a stuck her finger up there and measured it. They were less than an inch long. And it just blows my mind. But I want the things of God in my life. Amen. I, I, I want the blessings of God. If you want the blessings of God in your life, you have to have a relationship with Him. Amen? Amen. They just don't fall out of the sky into your lap just doing any old thing that you want to do. You have to spend time with God. I'm a busy guy. Ask my wife. I'm busy. She says, man, I believe you've dished out more than you can handle this time. I'm like, I've got this. Uh, because you know why? Because I keep God at the forefront. Amen. Amen. If I don't make and get this done, then there'll be tomorrow. Amen. Uh, but I know that I have to reserve my time with God, and that is the most important thing in my life, in my wife's life, in my children's life. There's more at stake than just me. Amen. There are too many Christians that sit back and just don't realize that there's more at stake than just you. Amen. There's a lot more at stake than just yourself. There's a whole lot of people uh, that, that God is going to put into your life that their lives possibly are at stake when they meet you. And that if you don't have the words to give them, that they could slip off into eternity and die and, 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 and go to hell because you weren't prepared. Because your relationship with God wasn't where it needed to be. Your house wasn't in order. You wasn't that church that God was ready to come back and get. Amen. Yeah, uh, are we go yeah we're going to be lazy sometimes. I'm lazy sometimes. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. But it always pops into my mind. God always speaks to me and says, well, what if Jesus was lazy? What if he didn't feel like it? What if he didn't feel good and didn't want to go to the cross and die for you? We wouldn't be sitting here tonight. Would you know that? You, you, you wouldn't be sitting here tonight. We, we wouldn't be in this place. There, uh, there would be, no, this wouldn't happen if it hadn't been for the cross. Amen. I would hate to see what this, we would have probably been wiped out a long time ago if it hadn't been for God. Because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. Amen, God's holy, Brother Bill. God's holy. I don't fear God as he's going to come down through here and job me through the heart with a rod of iron or something and punish me for making a wrong. I fear God because we can't even fathom how big God is. Amen. Amen. That he holds the universe. Hey. <laughs> he holds the universe. Yeah. 
in the palm of his hand. You can't even see Madisonville from here. <laughs> and that's eight miles up the road. You can't even see half a green back from here. He holds the universe in the palm of his hand. I, I, I got to go to Wisconsin for about four weeks, and I flew an airplane the first time I'd ever flew an airplane. Probably the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. I wish my wife could have went. She said she don't want to get on a plane. <laughs> but I'm telling you that I, I just be. But but it's just like living my life, is that I had to be ready when I boarded that plane, because I couldn't let fear take over, because I knew that once I got in that plane, the biggest thing was is that I knew that I was not in control, because they was a man sitting up front that had a door behind him and it was locked and shut. And there was two other people on there that would bulldog tackle me to the ground if I made a move for it. And I couldn't do nothing. All I could do was sit in the seat and ride and pray and trust God. And that's all we can do in our life is we have to get in the passenger seat. We have to allow God to drive and know that we don't have control, that we have to be prepared for whatever happens. If you get to sit next to the exit door, which I did one time, that lady come by me and she said, Sir, she said, I see you're in the exit aisle. Are you willing and able? I said, yes, ma'am. I'm willing to jerk this door open, and I'm able to be the first one out if we're going down. <laughs> and she just kind of looked at me and smiled real big. God is holy, guys. We, we, we can't even fathom how big God holds the universe in the palm of his hand. Amen. Holds the universe yeah. in the palm of his hand. Man, what a great big God we serve. He's holy, church. He, he, you, you, you can't come to God filthy and dirty and nasty and unrepentant. We have, to, we have to be repentant. We have to come to God and come clean because he already knows. Amen. You can't hide. It says, the word says everything is naked and open in God's sight. <laughs> everything is naked and open in God's sight. I see some of you grunt your brain going, I'm in the shower sometimes. <laughs> God sees you right where you're at. Amen. Well, I like to see him go crazy in the kitchen when nobody's there. God sees you. You're all right. Amen. Amen. That's just who you are. Now, God didn't save us to be, you know, nobody said that Christians can't have fun. I have a lot of fun. Uh, and I love Jesus more than anything. And I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. Uh, don't be, don't, you know, don't think that, you know, you, once I get saved or once I come to God or, or I, I, I've been saved for 25 years, bless God, Brother Harold, I got to sit here on this pew like this and I don't want nobody looking at me and I, they know who I am in here and what I represent. That's all I got to do. No. I'm going to have a good time. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy my salvation because I know God has set me free. And, and whom the Son has set free is free indeed. I, I'm as free I'm as free as I'll ever be. I'm as free as I'll ever be. Uh, you know, I, I, God is holy tonight, church. God is so holy uh, that we can't even fathom uh, the holiness of God. Thunderings and lightnings coming from his throne. I mean, just, just oh, my, man, what it's going to be like. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And if you call on the Father, who without respect of person judges according to every man's work past the time of your sojourning here in fear, for as much as ye know, in verse 18, for as much as ye know that ye are not, ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from the vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish, without spot, without blemish, without spot, uh, without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead, and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Amen. Amen. That your faith and hope is not in Yahshua. That your faith and your hope is not in Marcus 7. Your faith and hope is not in New Beginnings Worship Center, but that your faith and your hope is in God. Yes. Amen. Amen. That your faith and your hope is in God. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad that you come to the house of God, I'm, I, but I hope 
that it's more than just when you come here that you worship and you serve God. I, I, I really hope that Monday, Tuesday is just as real with God as Sunday and Wednesday. And I hope that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night is just as real as Sunday and Wednesday are. Uh, because I know that in my life that God is real to me every day. Uh, I, I drive down the road and, and it's amazing. Micah, he just blows my mind. Kimberly, you know, she's awesome too. She, she just has, you know, she has a great uh, way to say things sometimes. But Micah just amazes me more and more every day. We were riding down the road yesterday and he's like, Dad, Look at those clouds around that. You know, we come across the bridge coming from uh, Mom's house helping her move some furniture, and we come across the bridge, and he said, man. He said, look at that sunset, Dad. I said, yeah. He said, look. He said, I think that's an angel. I said, you think that's an angel? He said, yeah. He said, look at it. He said, and he could see the angel outlined in the clouds, and when we made the turn and come down our road, there it was. You know, and I was just, and I love that he thinks like that. He doesn't think that, you know, he, 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 he looks at those things, and he's kind of, because that's the things that I look at. Those are the things that, that I, I enjoy. I mean, I, those are the things. That, that's who God is to me. Somebody who is alive right in front of me. That I can see, George, and, and that I know that God uh, can do anything. That God can do all things in my life, in your life, in every situation. No matter what it may be. Uh, that God is the ruler. And God is the ruler of this world. And God Amen. is in charge of everything. Amen. And I love that. I, I, I'm excited because, because of what God has done in my life. God, God is doing a great work. God is rapidly drawing people to him right now. I know that uh, I had a guy tell me that he had 50-something uh, in Bible school last Saturday. They had a Bible school, just a one-day Bible school Saturday. It's just a small church, and I think they had, he said they may have had 50 kids, but nine of those kids got saved. He said, and what the best thing was, he said, is nine of those kids had never been there before. He said those nine kids have never touched a step inside that church house. God is saving people in droves because we're running out of time. Like Jewel said, Jewel, Jewel nailed the, the, the nail on the head tonight when she was talking about a church that's made herself ready. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready to meet God? Are, 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 is, that what, is that what you're aiming for? Is that, is that your aim? Is to, is to be ready to meet? My aim is ready to meet God. Uh, Jewel, every morning, every, it, it seems like more and more every day, Two and three times a day, uh, I, I, I look towards the heavens. I look towards the east. I, I, you know, just to look that way. Not, no, you know, God, are you coming today? God, is today the day? Uh, because I've got little kids. Christian's got a little baby inside of her belly and, and, and Kimberly's girl. Uh, but you know what? To see my kids grow up in heaven would be the most awesome thing ever because I know uh, there, is not, there is a playground in heaven that couldn't even touch anything they got down here. I guarantee you that Splash Country ain't got jack on what God's got prepared in heaven. Amen? I can promise you. And to see my kids grow up in that and me to get uh, to stand in the portals of glory with the one uh, that saved my soul from eternity, uh, from, a, uh, from an eternal burning lake of fire, uh, to, to just to get to see God and just to get to stand in his presence. Uh, man, I, I, I can't wait. I'm excited. It could be today. It, it could be tomorrow. Uh, I'm just telling you, you better be ready. Amen. Jewel said it best. You better have your house in order. Amen. Uh, God is a holy God. God is a holy God. God is a just God. And God is a loving God. Amen. He loves us tonight. He loves you. He loves me. I, 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 and, and he loves everybody. It ain't just you and me. He loves everybody. He would that all would come to know him. Amen. 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 He would that all would come to know him. When he's hanging with that thief on the cross, man. <laughs> and that thief looked at him and he said, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. <laughs> and Jesus said, surely this day, this day, you shall be with me in paradise. Surely this day. Amen. I, I, I can't, I, 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 I long for the day. I long for the day uh, that he comes and he, he, he gathers us all together. Uh, man, you imagine what that's going to be. Uh, you imagine how many people's mind is going to be literally blown. <laughs> you know, you, you know how, how, how that's not even going to register on the Richter scale what just took place when graves bust open and people go flying out and... Uh, all of a sudden, they're just people that are gone. 
and they can't explain why they're gone. They're just gone. They're just gone. 